Today's flashback features a pretty serious storm and one chapter in the mercurial career of basketball player Marvin Barnes. The report begins, though, 21 years ago today, November 28, 1993. The storm peaked around mid-afternoon with wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. Along the Rhode Island shore, some folks turned out for a first-hand look at Mother Nature at work. Here's what they saw, 8 to 15 feet seas. Great news for these folks who decided to take advantage of the high surf. Back on shore, the heavy winds knocked down trees and power lines in Foster and Coventry. The rains flooded some roads like Valley Street in Providence, making things very tough for travelers on this the busiest travel day of the year. That was Ann Halloran reporting that day. Flashing back to another November 28, 1975. Providence College basketball star Marvin Barnes accused of assaulting teammate Larry Ketvertis with a tire iron. Veteran Channel 10 news editor and producer Jim Metcalf narrated this day. The jury returns its verdict. Both sides called it a victory. Barnes must pay Ketvertis $10,000 in damages, but no more. Yes, that's what I'm going to do, go play basketball and uh, go on with my career and stay out of trouble. Barnes played for four NBA teams, one in the old American Basketball Association, three Canadian Basketball League teams, and one team in Italy. His career ended due to drug abuse in the 1980s. He returned to Rhode Island a decade or more later. He ran summer basketball leagues for inner city Providence youth and was involved in other entrepreneurial ventures. He passed away in September of uh, this year. And, of course, uh, in 1993, we got another example of the extreme uh, weather that we experienced. Uh, a lot different from the light snowfall you probably saw last night. Hey, quick... Uh